Hello everyone and welcome. In this video, I'm going to show you how to find the perfect drums for your songs using the tools included in Cubase. I think that we can all agree that drums is a very, very important element for any song. And sometimes you might be struggling to find the right drums that work well with a specific track. So in this case, I'm going to show you how you can find the drums that will work perfectly for your song using Groove Agent SE, which is included in Cubase. To do this, I'm going to use this track right here. I have a drum pattern. I'm using some sounds from Groove Agent SC, and this is a preset that I've loaded up. Let's listen to how it sounds. So let's listen to this drum kit in isolation. So in isolation, this drum kit sounds great, amazing sounds, but in the context of the mix, I find that it doesn't really work. It doesn't really complement the rest of the instruments. If I go to my mix console, we have a sub there and this long kick drum will clash with this sub. So one of the big challenges is to find the right elements for your drums when you are producing a track. And one of the most common mistakes is that people will tend to load drum kits and audition them in isolation, and these drum kits don't necessarily work well with the track. Or there might be the case that the snare works, but the kick drum doesn't work. So let me show you how we can approach this and how we can use the tools that are included in Cubase to our advantage when constructing our drum kits. So let me show you the trick. In order to start selecting our elements, I'm going to use Groove Agent SC. As you can see, I have my kick drum here, snare, clap. The first thing I'm going to replace is the kick drum. I want something tight. I want something that will work great with my sub bass. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open my load panel here and here is where all the magic is going to happen. What I'm going to do is I'm going to select my kick drum and I'm going to go straight into my instruments tab. So I'm going to go here and in this view I am able to find elements instead of whole drum kits. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have my category here. As you can see, I've selected my category as my filter and a subcategory here. So for my category, I'm going to go for drums and percussion and I'm going to select kick drums for my filters. So now all the sounds that we have here are going to be kick drums. Now, mind you, these are all sounds that are included in Groove Agent. So depending on how many expansions you have, you might find more sounds in there. But in a second, I'm going to also show you how you can also load your own custom samples if you have a sample library or if you have drum samples in your hard drives. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to start auditioning samples. First, I'm going to select my kick drum. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this icon right here. So this is the pre-listen in place. This means that whatever sample I select right here, we're going to audition this loop with this sample. And then we can commit to this by double clicking on one of these samples. So let's have a listen to some kick drums. I'm going to choose this one first. Let's see. Too long. That's nice. Okay, and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to listen with the whole arrangement and see which one works better because some of them sound great on their own. Let's see which one works great with our sub and the rest of the instruments. Now 
You know what? I'm between kick seven and kick four, the Trillum all kicks. Let's try kick drum four and let's listen to it against our sub. And I think this is going to be my kick drum. It's tight, it has punch, and it doesn't clash with my big sub bass right there. So now that I know that this is the kick drum that I want, I will commit to this sample by double clicking on this. And now this is in my drum kit. Now, let's move on to my snare. I mean, this snare, it's really nice, but I think I want something really tight. And for this one, maybe I want to use some 808 kind of samples. And guess what? I have recorded some 808 samples from a real 808, but I have them in my hard drive. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to select my snare, go to browser here, and here is where you can start loading your own samples exactly in the same way like you load the internal instruments. So what I'm gonna do here is, as you can see, I have quite a few samples that I've recorded from the Roland 808. So I'm going to, again, activate pre-listen in place. So now let's try an audition our snare. I can also turn up the volume like this. And let's listen. I already have some of my favorite samples and I've rated them here with a rating. Actually, I like the snare 5, it has a nice bottom end, and I think I'm going to pair it with a nice clap as well. So now I like this, I'm going to double click on this, and now it's in. Now let's select our clap, I want to find again a nice tight clap for this one. I like this one, I'm going to double click on it and commit to this, so as you can see, I have my kick drum snare and clap. Now let's go and add some hi-hats. So let's try some 808 hi-hats on this one. Okay, this is nice. I'm going to commit to this. Let's go here and add another one. This is pretty nice, I'm going to commit to this. And you know what? I feel that these are a little bit too bright for what I like. So what I can do is go here and change the playback mode to vintage. So I'm going to do this for all the hi-hats. And I'm going to take care of this one now. now you know and maybe I'm going to also add a little bit of a filter. Now let's try the open ones. Okay, this is nice, but I'm not convinced about the length. Maybe I want to make it a little bit tighter. So what I can do is go to my amp here and change the release. So maybe I want to make this open hat a little bit tighter. So I'm going to click on this S here so I can see the waveform as well. And let's have a listen. Now you know This is pretty cool. I'm going to also make this a little bit darker with the turntable mode. And I'm going to add a little bit of a cutoff right there. So let's have a listen. Maybe pan them as well. So the whole secret here is play your track, 
have your MIDI ready and then use this magic button here, pre-listen in place and either use the internal instruments from Groove Agent SE or your own samples that you might happen to have on your hard drive. So Groove Agent is pretty much all you need to pre-audition your drums in the context of your mix because this is the best way to find the right drums that will work in favor of your arrangement and not against it. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you have loads of fun creating your own custom drum kits and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.